Uh, I thought I'd just do a little uh, video of what I've been messing around with while I've been waiting for parts. Um, yeah, still just waiting on bits and bobs to finish off the testing of the other ones. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just show you this little um, ESC off a, off a drone. So you can see how small it is. Tawny. It's pretty much the smallest um, heat sink I had. Which I just put on there because normally I get quite a bit of calling from the cars and stuff. Um, so I thought it was only fair to stick a heat sink on there and a little fan. Uh, so these ESCs are these. I've got loads of them, so I don't care if I blow them up. But I put it on 80 degrees cut out. It doesn't cut out straight away. It sort of just starts to um, stutter a bit. But yeah, this is the return amps back to the coil that's in the water, back to the load that's in the water, and so I'm just going to see what kind of max max um, amps are, and max watts, it would be quite interesting to see small ESC turn over such a big motor, but yeah here we go, so the loads at max, um, and I, I'll just, I'll put, I'll just go 100% duty cycle and then add the uh, load. Here we go. Let's see it. Until it overheated. So it's quite a bit. I think as you catch up, it was 60 amps. The turn. It's quite a lot, really. Um, 45 amps battery. Basically 800 watts peak. Yes, pretty, pretty good for such a small little ESC. I would. What I might do is I'll restrict. I'll take off the. Um, I'll move the overhe overheating protection up to 140, and then retest again. So I'll see you in a minute once I've done that. Right, so I've. Uh, Increased it now to 140 degrees cut off. Let's uh, see what happens now. It could end up in flames, but okay, I've got quite a few. I haven't wired anything that's really adequate enough, but cool. Let's see what happens. So I don't know if it can start on a full load. Let's see. Oh, nearly. No. Okay. Take the load down. There she goes. I don't know if that died or what, but. See, I suppose it's it, it's it returned. Ah, wait a minute, we're under a load. There she goes again. So they're quite surprised really for a little um, ESC. It's getting hot in here, it's smelling. <laughs> More ways so that ESC cools down and then um, do a sustained well, so if they're 30 amps, let's see what happens at 30 amps, I suppose. I'll catch you back once everything's cooled. Everything's cooled off, pretty much. Um, I'm just going to so just swap the amp meter over to the amps output of the ESC. Uh, just because I thought it was be a bit interesting, but... It's just 30 amps. Is that battery voltage or actual output voltage? I'll reset the... The meter. 
if you can see that there. I think you can. Uh, yes. So I'll just try and get 30 amps up on the up on that meter battery, and then I might let it cool up again and try 30 amps on the output and see what it uh, can actually just contain. Uh, see what actually uh, can run it. Actually, quite a good, quite a good little run there, wasn't it? <laughs> Such a small ESC, but it did cut out. So, what I'll do is one more test of 30 amps on the output of AC and see see if it can actually withstand 30 amps. And see which one's more correct, and I imagine it's probably going to be the AC output. Um, yeah, that was that was a good run. So that was um, 704 amps peak. And 37 amps peak. So it doesn't say how many kilowatts. It's in kilowatts used, so obviously I haven't used the kilowatt. It should a bit more, need a bit more of a more sensitive uh, meter so it can pick up watts instead of kilowatts so then it could actually work out how many watts it used uh, over that span of time but anyway yeah, uh, and power yes it doesn't use one alright cool I'll be back once it's cooled off right, so now I'm going to run it at 30 amps output so the AC output of 30 amps and um, just see how long that lasts no, you know, that other one ran for a minute or so, but I'd have to look back on the video. Um, yeah, let's give it a go.
No, that's uh, pretty good. So, <laughs> pretty good for such a small ESC. So, uh, yeah, I might play around. I don't know if you could link more than one of these together, you know, because then you could get 60 amps if you had two. Could it be done? I don't know. I think the phases would get mixed up, but it's um, worth a try. Nothing seems to have got too hot. So the output wires are pretty hot. But they're going back to the. Um, they're not hot at 30, 37. But anyway, just a little bit of a mess around with um, what I've been playing around with while waiting for parts and board. Alright, cheers guys, see ya.